Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today I want to share with you three different topics. So feel free to jump on the video timestamps right over here to something that you find really interesting. But in my opinion, all of them are interesting. The first one is this KVM, which in this particular case, it's a personalized one. As you can see, YouTube is my life, Roberto Jorge. And we will talk about it. We will see how it works, all the features and functions. I also have this Blake right over here that T-Smart gave and this is a really awesome prize and besides that we will take a close look at the VIP program that T-Smart has and has some really interesting things and at no cost. So these are the topics. Now talking about the KVM, this is a 2x2 two two, so it means that it will control up to two computers simultaneously and two displays up to 4K and now with USB 3.0 on any peripheral that we connect right over here which is just awesome. Now if your computers are with Windows 10 or Windows 11 and you still haven't activated, don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below in the video description you will get an extra discount. But before we take a closer look at the KVM, I did receive this plaque, as you can see right over here, top content maestro Roberto George. Now I did share it on my Instagram account. I will leave a link down below. And if you don't mind, just press that like button there as well. Now, this is not to accomplish anything on the millions of views that I do share on my channel because I don't but to recognize some of the work that I've been doing in the past, not for public, but for customer support on T-Smart. Now, T-Smart is a brand that gives support to the customer. If you are one user from T-Smart, you know that. And if you purchase any of these devices, probably you will find one video or another where I will be in explaining how to connect, explaining how to troubleshoot something if something does not work how do we connect, how this and how that. So tutorials, video guides and things like that is something that you might find there on their support, which is great. And this is just a small but really appreciated recognition from T-Smart and I really, really appreciate it. So T-Smart, a huge thumbs up. Now, before we move on to the KVM, which is the part that I do love, they also have a VIP program, completely free, no monthly fees. We just need to spend about two minutes of our time and see if it's interesting or not. It's really quick to fill in the form. And in about two minutes, we are a VIP member, which we can also leave at any time. So no compromises, everything is transparent and great, which is something that T-Smart is used to do on, at least for the years that I know them. Now on this VIP program, there are a lot of situations, but four of them caught my attention. One is the warranty. Unlike the normal, which is one year warranty, here uh, T-Smart will deliver up to three years warranty on their products. And this is just awesome for the same price for everything. Actually, not for the same price. They have some exclusive discounts. <laughs> you will get extra discounts by being a VIP member. And besides those discounts, which is the second point probably, which are exclusive, if we want to trade a product, this one exchange for a new product, then we will get up to 40% extra discount on that trade. Let's imagine that in two or three years time, I want to replace this one with the new one. Actually, this is the new one. The last generation had USB 2.0 and this one has USB 3.0. So if I wanted to exchange the last generation for this, I would have an extra 40% or up to 40% discount. And this is just great. Besides some discounts that they mentioned that will gradually appear, and this is in better version. So T-Smart is finding a way to reward their customers which are loyal to the brand and this is just awesome. Besides that, there is a point that is really interesting in my opinion and this is the opportunity to test out and use new devices pre-launch. So before they go public, we will have the chance by being a VIP member to have our hands discounts up to 50% and some giveaways. And this is, I do believe, where I find that T-Smart keeps on 
pushing the boundaries and my relationship with T-Smart started almost in a situation like this where I do test out the product and if you find that you are someone that don't mind sharing the knowledge that you grab from using a device with the community then T-Smart will help you out like it did with me. So this is something that you should consider. Check it out down below in the video description for the link and try it out and then see for yourself if you like it or not. It's free of charge so no issues, no losses, just wins. Now let's take a look at the KVM. Now the first thing that caught my attention was the logo. Really really nice but this is for content creators. Maybe in the future it might be you. We never know. Now in terms of the unboxing experience was a really cool experience as well because this is a special package and I did find the stamp where, where it says content maestro Roberto George which is just great. Inside the box it comes the KVM, it also comes with the power adapter, two normal HDMI cables and two dual HDMI cables with USB 3.0 included which is just awesome to set up any device. This is not the first time that we are seeing these cables, we have seen them in the past. We saw a unit right over here with four computers and three displays at the same time which is a huge setup and the cables were exactly the same. Besides the cables we will have here the KVM which is all built of metal no plastics whatsoever this is a thin sheet on the top a thicker sheet on the on the bottom but this will act not only for durability but also for heat dissipation which is awesome at the front we have one usb 3.0 port and the three kvm management buttons which we will see in just a few moments how it works we also have one on and off button and then at the back we have two inputs one for each computer with usb 3.0 and two hdmi inputs and two HDMI outputs for each of the displays that we have. We also have a USB connection for peripherals like mouse, keyboard and so on and a USB 3.0 port for connecting to SSDs or any other devices and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. In terms of connectivity it is as simple as just reading the <laughs> instructions of the legend right over there and that is it. We just need to connect the USB 3.0 port to the computer as well as the two HDMI cables that come from the same computer and we put it right over here on the KVM. The same for the second computer and then we just need to connect the HDMI cables to each of one of the displays. Then we can connect of course the keyboard, the mouse and we can connect any peripheral printers, SSDs, external hard drives, anything that we want. How does it work? Uh, Let's take a look. And now with a example setup with two displays and two computers to see how we can take advantage of some of the features of the T-Smart 2x2 KVM. Now in this setup so that we can uh, check out what we have, we have two mini computers right over here, computer number one, computer number two, and then we also have display A, display B. I've got an SSD connected to the USB 3.0 port at the back. You can see the speed test right over there. We can reach 500 megabytes per second reads and on writes, but this is not the fastest SSD that I could connect. But as you can see, 413, we are almost reaching the maximum. I'm also connected with a phone which is charging via this USB port right over here. And we have several ways of controlling it. Now, one of the things that is really great is that every single peripheral that we connect will cycle through. So if I change, for example, to computer number one right now, this SSD will connect to that computer and the phone is connected to that computer as well. And this is optional. I can leave these uh, connected to the other, but at this moment when I press it, they will automatically move to the computer that I'm using so that I can use all the accessories. So if I go to my PC right over here, we can see that I've got the one terabyte mini SSD right over here available to check it out and we could do the speed test but I will not waste your time. Now let's move ahead to how the KVM works. So we've got two buttons right over here. This one is display a, and this one is display B. At this moment we are showing off computer number one and computer number one on both displays. So if I move my mouse I will be able to check this one right over here and if I want to work on the other one I can also do the same. 
But if I want to select a different computer right over here, for example, computer number two, I just need to press the B, which is display B, and it will show off my computer number two. Now, at this moment, I still have the mouse controlling computer number one. But if I want to swap quickly so that I can do any change on my computer, I just need to use one very quick shortcut that we have used in the past as well, which is double click on Alt and it will grab my mouse to this computer right over here so I can just do my work right over here and then double click and I'm ready to start working on the other computer keep on my tasks and so on and so forth which is a huge advantage this is one of the ways that we can work now if I want to put everything on computer number one I just need to press this button right over here which is the select button and or sorry it will go to number two it will cycle through and at this moment everything is connected to computer number two and I've got my peripherals working on computer two. If I want to go and cycle to number one, I just need to press the select button, sorry, and there we go. We are on computer number one. I can do anything that I want on this screen and on this screen working on computer number one. So this is the basic usage. Now we also have a remote control, which we have seen in the past. It has a lot of buttons, but we will only be using these four. Now the M is for the display A, P, display B and then one and two will cycle through like we did right over here. So if I press the M button, it will change display A. If I press again, it will change display A to the secondary screen of computer two. And if I press it again, it will cycle to monitor uh, PC number one, monitor number one. So we will have three available screens because we are working with four outputs. The same will happen with the number uh, P, which is the display 2, it will cycle to this screen, it will cycle to the number 2 screen on PC2, and now we'll go back to screen number 2 on PC1. So this is the way that it works. But if I want to change quickly both screens to one computer, I just need to select computer number 2, which is this one right over here, or I can also select computer number one and it will cycle both of the screens to computer number one. And besides being able to control via the KVM and also with the remote control, we can also use really cool shortcuts and I still haven't learned all of them but there are some which are really really cool. Now if I press control control and page up it will cycle through to the next computer. So if I press again, it will go to computer number one again, because at this moment we only have two computers for the key VM two by two. But if we have a two by four or four by two or four by four, as we have seen, we will cycle between all those computers. One of the other ways that we can go is by pressing control, control, and then number two, and we go to computer number two. And in this particular case, as we only have two computers, let's go to computer number one just by pressing control control and the number of the computer another one really interesting is that if i press control control and left arrow key it will change my display a so control control left and it will go to the second display on computer number two and if i press it again it will go cycle and to the monitor or the monitor one on computer one and we can do with the right arrow as well so control control right arrow and i can change it and if I want right now to control the other computer right over there, I would just double Alt and there we go. I'm controlling this one and I would do my work and then just go back to that one and I can do my work. So there are three different ways that we can cycle through. We are talking about the manual mode, which is probably the one that we will start using when we get it. And then we also have the remote control, depending on the distance that we are. And then finally, the quick shortcuts on the keyboard, which will help to enhance our productivity. And that is it regarding the KVM 2x2, two two, the story behind this plague and the new VIP program which is interesting and in my opinion of course. Now hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated right over here. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.